What's up everybody on some real shit we're gonna be doing an unboxing of a luxury item today on some real shit I ordered this I didn't know the price on some real shit I feel really really <laughs> I feel I feel like I feel there's a couple reasons why I feel silly asking like a price couple reasons I mean starting from the beginning of times I was broke a girl broke bitch never was privileged nothing like that like Literally the only reason I got money is because I'm showing titties, like that's it. Stripping, hooking, YouTube, TikTok, OnlyFans. This is how I get paid. Don't knock a bitch. I'm not smart, I'm a dumb bitch. I'm not skinny, I'm a fat bitch. So just let me let me show the tits. That's all I got. So anyways, um yeah, if this is like triggers anyone that I spent this much, I'm sorry. I didn't want to spend this much, but I felt stupid to be like actually that's way too expensive. So I never asked for prices because people like have made me feel inferior over the years. So Louis Vuitton, they're the worst. Definitely Chanel. <laughs> if you ask a price, they literally like will roll their eyes and be like, mmm, how should I have to check on the computer what this price is? And then my dumb bitch would feel so insecure and I'd be like, never mind, just kidding, and just like leave the store. Even though it literally says it on the tag. But anyways, it's neither here nor there. I do have a really cool representative that works for Chanel, and um, I wanted four purses total. So if you want to see what the other three are, like this video, I'll do like part two. But um, I was thinking like, you know, Chanel purses, I don't know, four, four purses maybe together might be 20K. She gave me the receipt and like just run it because I wasn't going to ask because I had a friend earlier in the year who made me feel, I asked the price of Balenciaga. I'm like, oh my God, don't ask the price. I was like, well, excuse me, bitch. Excuse me that I have to know the price of the bags for this very reason. I end up buying a $20,000 bird cage. I don't have a bird. I think it's a purse. I'm not sure. So, I'm gonna show you that first. If you guys like this, like this video, let a bitch know what's up. So these are the other purses from Chanel. I'll show you the big mama jamma. <laughs> can you even see, can you even see? <laughs> the big mama jamma's right there. There you go, yeah, that's the, that's the big mama jamma. Okay, so, I guess we can put this out on a higher stool, but let's just open this. This is how big, as long as it's ginormous. Pretty, pretty freaking huge if you ask me. Now we're gonna unbox the Chanel. <laughs> this is huge. It's literally, so big. <laughs> oh my goodness, okay. Wait, is this, this is this the bird cage? Oh my god, I unboxed the wrong thing. Where is the bird cage? <laughs> Oops. Oh my god, this is not even the bird cage. This is this is the Duval. <laughs> okay, if you want to see this, like for part two, because I just totally unboxed. Box the wrong thing. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Okay. Okay, well, now we have a table for the other things, but I don't know. Is this the bird cage? This might be the bird cage, or is this the bird cage? <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> was it 56,000? Oh my god, no, 44,000 was my total. Let's try. Let's try this lucky box. <laughs> What's behind door number number three? Oh, this is the bird cage. We did it. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Yay me. Oh my goodness gracious. This right here is the freaking $20,000 bird cage. What the heck? Why is it so little, Chanel? There's a price tag for people who don't want to ask when they go into Chanel and you can't read the tags. It's always like the little numbers right there at the bottom. Okay, so that's the, this is the 20th. <laughs> I was expecting that big box to be the, <laughs> to be the bird cage. Okay, um, so this is like a purse. <laughs> it's got 
birds on it, so you don't need a bird in it. It's got like turquoise or teal stones down here. It's got like this fake costume jewelry that Chanel has. It's cute, this is Paris right there. Um, it opens up like this. Um, I guess you can put stuff in this. Just a little, just a little outing bag maybe. Um, cute. I think that's kind of cute. It's kind of clever. I feel like you need to like keep the price tag on. <laughs> so people know how much it is where I go. It's like what the hell is that? It looks like this could be detachable maybe. Stuck, yeah. Looks like this might be... I get to get the pouch out. Like, hey, it's really cute. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I think it's kind of funny for a video. Like, I spent $20,000 on this, like, Chanel birdcage. <laughs> but, like... <laughs> probably get a knockoff somewhere and people... I don't know. It's a cute piece. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I think it's cute. And if you wear it like this, like, when you're... You know what I mean? Like, if you're, like, standing waiting for an Uber... I guess it's easy to like rip off of you. I guess just don't put your locations where you at. What do we think, you guys? 20,000 Chanel birdcage. The pouch is like velvet. I like the little strap too. It's cute. It's a piece. I think it's super cute. Obviously, not super practical if you're going to be digging into your purse. But if it's like for a cute evening out and you want to. Oh. Ooh, I love. Does anyone else find this part satisfying? Taking off the new. Oh, there's so many of them down here. Oh. Ooh, maybe I should do this on my TikTok. It's so satisfying. So that's kind of it for the birdcage review. It's pretty. Like, I honestly feel like I'd wear this out just to kind of like. Like, does it go with my outfit today? Did I take a picture with it? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, if you're just chilling, like, waiting for, you know, your boo at the Dairy Queen at the mall. You're like, hey boo, I want to get an orange Julius Balsam some nachos. I feel like this is kind of that outfit to chill it in. <laughs> it's kind of heavy. Um, F it. There's not much else to say. Do you guys just want to see the other person I just unboxed? Because I did this on TikTok. Follow me on TikTok, just like my shady eight. I get paid over there. YouTube doesn't really pay me anymore. <laughs> um... Yeah, you want to see the other? That's a cute box. Maybe I'll keep. Maybe I'll keep the box. This is a cute bag. I'll just go ahead and show you guys because, like, I gotta give you guys something too. I give a lot over on OnlyFans. I give a lot on TikTok first. You guys deserve this. Isn't this so cute? It's my first two ball. So sparkly. I freaking love this so much. I just love like the bigness of this. Like this one you can get like your your laptop and your iPad in. Yeah, this is pretty sick. I've always wanted a Duval. I always wanted a pink one and I could never find the right pink like on Tradesy and stuff. And I found this one at the Chanel Boutique. Okay, see, this is like 4800 and this is a large, this is a large shopping tote. So, how's that 4800 But that birdcage is so impractical. 25000 I feel like it's not picking up. Anyways, let's see. This is cute. And you carry it this way. Like a business woman. Or... Chanel makes really good quality bags. Like, honestly, I love all my Chanel bags. Alright, now if you want to see another Chanel. This is really pretty. If you want to see a Chanel unboxing, like this video. Oh, this is really cute. I like the, the close-up detail of this. Cute. Stores are kind of opening up here. I don't know if it's where you guys are at, but stores are kind of opening up here. Um, you can get this online, but it usually says to call a store to see if they have it in stock. They're really good at like shipping. Make sure you sign all of that. But yeah, let me know if you guys like this one better or the birdcage better. 
Which one would you rather go for? Like, already looking at it, I'd rather go for this. And this is like a, like a quarter of the price. I guess if you're a collector of Chanel, it's cute to have this. But again, you can probably get something off Etsy. This is dope. I'm not going to lie, this bag it looks even cooler on camera. But yeah, I got two more to unbox. So, I just like this video. Oh, I'll show you this. This doesn't really like go in a video, so I'll kind of show it this one. Um. I got this because of Gabby DiMartino. I love her so much. <laughs> and it's really cute. This is like oversized sleeve Paris. I found this on, this is on the real real. So super cute. It's huge. Look how big that bag is. This is kind of worth the price. And then I got a really ugly tote. <laughs> you guys want to see the, wor the world's ugliest tote? I was going to do a whole video on this, but it's like actually so ugly. And they're so expensive. Oh! This is from The Real Real, not sponsored. Not the TV show. <laughs> but, um, this is a Goyard. I want the Goyard briefcase that Chris Jenner has that says Rich AF. This is used, I think so. Oh, it's like pretty used inside. Ooh. Oh my god, there's like a blue stain in there. Do y'all see that? like a blue stain. Ew. No, oh, it's kind of ugly. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. If you want to see more Chanel or if you would like to see a Louis Vuitton boxing, comment below. Let me know which one I should do first. <sighs> kind of a thing, you know? Oh, this is a pretty ring. I'm just randomly finding stuff on my... This is a Cinderella ring. <laughs> Just, it's like all of a sudden I just become a crackhead. I'm just showing you guys random stuff. Pumpkin spice latte. Don't mind if I do freshen up. <laughs> um, ooh, that kind of smells good. Kind of strong smelling though. You guys like this like hair length? I kind of want to keep a 30 inch hair. It's just like a lot. You gotta brush it every like five seconds. Oh, and I finally used my. If you guys watch my Louis Vuitton haul, I finally used my. This is my set bag. I got so many compliments on it. So cute. This one was well worth it. Pre-loved, all that. I think I'm gonna wear some Jordan sneakers with this. It's kind of cute. Mm -hmm. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching my video. <laughs> and um, yeah, I hope you guys are well. If you guys missed my podcast, I now have a podcast over on the HD channel. It's called Frenemies, and my Frenemy co-host, Ethan, gave me this cool hoodie, and I love it. Shout out, Patty Fresh. I'll link that below, or just go check out the Atreet podcast. It comes out every Tuesday. I still do OnlyFans, OnlyShirts.com. I do custom videos. I chat with you guys on there. I post daily weird content. I'm posting really weird content lately. <laughs> it's like doing stuck porn in my Rolls Royce. That's a good one. That's a fun one. But yeah, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.